that we are open for business. I said that this morning, and I'll say it. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Now we'll go to your panel. Okay. And now I'm really excited. Um, and I'm fine. We've got into sports today. A great panel. And uh, we could ask them to come up right now. Can we get? Sorry? Yes, he is. Bruce oh, King, so oh, okay. Fine. As they're coming up, I'll, I'll list them off, and I'll, I'll let them introduce themselves once we all get uh, get seated. We have LAKings.com, Los Angeles Kings, Dwayne Hankins. Um, also really pleased to have the Chief Marketing Officer from Golden Boy Productions, Bruce Pinko, and uh, the director, newly promoted director of New Media and Athlete Marketing. I'm sure he's happy to hear that. Brendan Meyer from uh, Wasserman Media Group. And we also have the sports account executive from Luce, Ty Jones. Uh, so gentlemen, I'm just going to let you go right down the aisle here, give you a 30 second introduction for yourselves. And Bruce Pinko? No. 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 Yeah, I'm uh, Bruce Pinko. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer of Golden Boy Promotions. We are the world's leading boxing promoter. Um, pretty much everything that we do is focused on boxing. Uh, we're an international company, um, mostly the U.S. and Mexico, but we do a lot of business in the U.K. and Canada as well, and we're expanding into uh, Asia. And uh, we're partially owned by um, AEG, and uh, we also have uh, a number of fighters, including our, our founder, Oscar De La Hoya, who's our uh, stakeholders in the company as well. Ty Jones, I uh, work for Husay, run uh, Point on our sports efforts. Uh, we're a digital media, social media advising company. Uh, we've got about a thousand clients. Uh, we help them uh, you know, with strategy and, and ownership of their content. And they're posting out to the digital media world. We try to give as many outlets and channels to our, to our clients uh, as possible while you know, giving them ownership of their content and driving fans back to a, a branded Husay page that we create for them. Uh, my name is Zach uh, my name is Adam Brady, I'm the Director of Publications and New Media for the Anaheim Ducks. Um, I've been with the Ducks since 2005, which includes our Stanley Cup here in 2007. Which I, I had to mention that because Kings is sitting right next to me, otherwise I would have skipped right over. Um, um, anyway, possible trade about that. But, uh, anyway, so I'm in charge of our publications, which is like our game program on the magazines that we do, but more importantly, or as far as what pertains to this room, I'm in charge of our web and uh, social media side of things. Uh, I'm Dwayne Hankins. I run all digital assets for the LA Kings. I've yet to win the Stanley Cup. I uh, do the social media, digital media, uh, mobile app, and uh, everything for the LA Kings. So. I'm Joel Price. I'm with the San Diego Chargers. I've uh, been with the Chargers now for 12 seasons as of yesterday, so um, it's been good. We haven't ever won the Stanley Cup or a Super Bowl yet. <laughs> but I've never won on the Super Bowl. Um, and uh, I have had all of our digital media uh, with the team. And that encompasses everything from social all the way to our website and uh, mobile apps. Based sports management and marketing company based here in Westwood. Uh, we have about 1,200 clients worldwide. Um, and I focus in, in on all of our digital and, and marketing endorsements for our athletes that are based out of our LA office. And that includes uh, NBA, MLB, soccer, women's sports, and Olympic sports. The Kings on then developing community relations and that sort of thing. And one of the key areas I looked at at that time, this is 2008, not even four years ago, because it was in the summer. Um, they, at that time, were doing nothing. Nobody in the NHL was doing anything other than the Washington Capitals, Pittsburgh Penguins, New York Rangers had a little bit um, in the 2008. Uh, 2009, all of a sudden, the Kings, you know, had kind of taken off of it. You, you saw it in the NHL, we kind of readily adapted it. Um, I remember speaking to a, a sales uh, executive with the Anaheim Angels uh, to change sports and Major League Baseball, who still to this day has not really grabbed onto it like, like they should. Um, at that time, 2009, we're talking absolutely no presence to zero. And that was the directive from Major League Baseball at that time where they just weren't going to use it. Um, in a number of ways, and so does the NHL as a whole, we hired a, a full time social media guy um, probably a year and a half ago um, and, you know his, his job is you know, among other things including our mobile app um, you know uh, doing posting content on Twitter Facebook uh, YouTube engaging with fans and, and uh, 
you know, other things in that realm. So as far as how the marketing has changed, I mean, I think there, there's, it's more of a two-way communication than, it, than it's ever been with, you know, print ads or, <clears throat> or web or anything like that. You're, you're more communicating with the fan and, and seeing how they react to certain things and you're, um, you're, you're gauging off of that more so than you could before. You, you know, we're able to do analytics with web um, and other things in that realm, but you're actually able to take specific comments from fans and see specifically how they're reacting and you can kind of see what works, see what doesn't work, and sort of, uh, you know, melt your marketing that way. About that is, I mean, as a sports team, you don't have to do too much to grow that brand affinity. It's going to be there, for better or worse. If you're on a 10-game losing streak, they often love you as much as if you had one 10 games in a row. So for us, it's a way to get uh, all that information out there and get it out there in a hurry, because that's the other thing that's come along with social media is that I you know with mobile apps and text alerts and everything else, they want to know the score, when the goal is scored, and they want to know who scored it, and they want to know who the assists were, and they even want to see how they did it. Yeah. Younger people who really know. Listen, do your own math, and learn from the stuff that you are missing. Create your own path with your own vision.